Uh, let's do some um, troll comments. I think I put them under topical stuff. Yeah, here we go. And granted, and I might not even know which movie these are referring to, but uh, I think you'll get the uh, the context for most of them. And some of them aren't troll comments. They're just general comments, but maybe they're a little bit mean-spirited, or maybe I'm trolling. Maybe, you know what? Maybe it's me. Maybe I'm the asshole in some of them. Here we go. Jumping into the troll comments. Okay. I'm, I'm going to try to guess which, move, which uh, review this was about, too, or video. I thought this was just a horror review channel, or you just reviewing mainstream movies like this just to get views and likes. So he's stating that uh, I'm doing mainstream just to get, which is, I mean, that's fine. Some people, that's all they do. They do the mainstream stuff, you know? I, I mean, if you know my channel, I actually do a lot of deep cuts and stuff like that. But, you know, he didn't know that, right? So I said, I've always reviewed non-horror content. I've always told people, uh, I always tell people I'm 85% horror. Basically, I talk about whatever I want. My goal is to get zero clicks. <laughs> so I always have to end it with kind of a, a, a jab at them. You fucking asshole. So, <laughs> yeah, maybe I'm the asshole now. Was I, was it, and let me know, guys, was I too hard? Like, Lee, were you, you were a little bit too hard on that guy. Maybe I was, maybe I was. All right. All right. Uh, next one, next one. This one's called Unsub. I've talked about this before. You lost my sub at Candyman. That movie sucked bad. And so I said, so you're not watching my... Um, I can't read my own. Hold on. So you're not watching my vids anymore because we disagree on one movie. Seriously. By the way, not trying to get um, you to reconsider. Unsub all you want. Just a weird reaction. Happy trails. And uh, that's not a funny one. I've always found this behavior weird. And, and I do see these a lot, actually. If you don't like X movie, then I have to unsub your channel. You know? And um, I get if you... If you dislike, like, if we disagree on everything, okay, I get that. Go ahead. But you just came to my channel. Actually, he probably didn't because he's already subbed. So, I, I don't know. I Sometimes I try to decipher these, and I can't. Like, I would never unsub a channel that I really like because we disagreed on a movie. A movie, you know? I don't get it. It's weird. Okay, next one is, uh, I called it Tomato. Let's see, Tomato. Here we go. Porn stars aren't actresses. They're just prostitutes. I have no idea what video this was on, <laughs> but I put tomatoes aren't a fruit. <laughs> I don't even know what I was talking. I, I, it just, I didn't know what he was talking about. So I just put, you know, it's, it's kind of like where I got hot relish from, right? You know, um, there's a, a bad joke that a friend of mine told me ages ago. What do you get? Um, what do you get when you have sex with an, uh, uh, an, um, an elephant and I put hot relish. It, it makes no sense whatsoever. So that's what that is. Tomatoes aren't a fruit. Okay. Porn, porn stars aren't actresses. They're just prostitutes. There you go. All right. I don't know what that means. All right. Uh, this next one is talk too much. And I've, I'll go quickly past this one. Cause I did share this one not too long ago, but it cracked me up. You talk too much. And I kind of have to, if you like, if you like, I can do silent reviews. <laughs> Um, you know, and it's a, maybe it's a flavor. Some people like the quick reviews, you know. You want the quick little five-minute reviews. These are the pros. These are the cons. Boom, I'm out. And um, most of the time, I don't like doing that. I like actually talking about how the movie made me feel personally. If I can tie any kind of personal uh, experience to the movie, especially if I'm doing, like, older movies, that's always fun, right? Um, I mean, when I go into any review... I look at it as a challenge to actually do something different than everybody else. I don't always succeed, but I, I try to, th I literally sit there and I try to think what is something that maybe other people aren't bringing up about this or aren't talking about. Maybe I can do that, you know? And sometimes it takes me a while to get there, you know? Cause oftentimes too, especially lately, I don't really look at my notes when I'm reviewing. I like to just kind of go uh, stream of consciousness it's a, and yeah, he's right. Sometimes I can get a little long-winded. It happens. So, but yeah. All right. Uh, next one. This one is a uh, sting. Maybe this is off of the sting review. Um, yeah, my voice cracked. Okay. Uh, hey buddy. I did not know this spot. Oh, okay. This is on me guys. All right. This is on me. Hold on. Let me get this. Right. Finish my script. I based a character on you. Defcon prime experience. Thank you. Defcon. All right. That sounds cool. That sounds cool. I hope I'm not an asshole. Although you're probably right if, if I am an asshole. All right. 
Um, hey buddy, I did not know this spider is an alien. I have not seen this film yet. I would have had no idea that the opening explains its origin. That would have been a cool reveal in the theater. Uh, the creature's origin is in none of the marketing. Why the fuck would you spill that? What's wrong with you? And I asked him if he needed a hug. Because here's the thing, guys. And maybe I'm wrong here because there's different types of um, moviegoers in terms of spoilers. All right. And I get that. Some people, my daughter, or uh, my daughter, she she doesn't care if anything spoils. I, I could read the entire plot of this movie and I'm fine to go into it. And then there's my son, who is the exact opposite of that. He does not, he's better off not watching reviews and he usually doesn't try to watch reviews because he wants to go in knowing absolutely nothing. All right, nothing. Here's my take on mild spoilers. And I'll give him that maybe the, but this was at the very beginning of the movie, the very beginning of the movie. So I didn't really think this would affect anybody's, like this wasn't a big reveal at all. And honestly, if you watch the trailer for Sting, right after you watch that trailer, if I told you that that spider came from space i don't think you'd be surprised just the way the trailer pans out they they let you know that there's something off about this spider there's a scientist in the trailer uh, that uh, you know he says hey this isn't like a normal spider so after i watched the trailer before i saw the movie immediately i thought okay this 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 spider is not a normal spider he could be from space um he could be like a you know a um uh, what do you call it? Like um, two species that are combined with each other. I don't know. I don't know. But this guy got a little, I think a little bit too upset. And he might be just one of those people that just likes knowing nothing. And that's fine. Nothing. All right. So I'm not going to apologize for that. All right. If if I let off, if, if I reveal something that's in the final act of the movie, then that's on me. Okay. But if I tell you the, the, uh, the very beginning of the movie, then I'm not gonna apologize for that. I just can't, I don't have time, all right? What's up guys, you are at the middle of the video. Don't go anywhere, there's still plenty of content uh, ahead of you, but I uh, just wanted to break right here to say you are at Drum Dums Extra, my second channel. If you like my main channel and, and you're not subscribed, I would urge you to subscribe to this channel, okay? Because this is where I do a lot of my horror updates and whatnot. I moved all that stuff over to here and it's more uh, of a live stream type feel. I, I am working really hard on this channel, just as hard as I am on the other channel. You'll see at least three or four videos a week. And most of it's like horror news, topical type stuff. Got some rankings on there and whatnot. The main channel is still the main channel, but this is more for this type of content. So anyway, guys, back to the video. And subscribe, damn it. This is another spoiler one, I think. Now this one, I, I'm gonna say it right now. This guy's an idiot. All right, I'm, I'm sorry. You sometimes I just gotta call it like it is. This guy's an idiot. Not really cool to make a spoiler video. And, it, and let me preface this: the the video literally said spoiler review. Okay, you need to know that. All right. Um, why is it not cool to make a spoiler video? As long as it, as I'm upfront about it, and you know I'm being upfront. This is, let's just say Halloween Kills spoiler review. All right. And he says, maybe because we don't want to know and discover it by ourselves. And then I say, oh, okay, so that's easy. Don't watch the video. You know, I'm, I wasn't giving him a smart ass, but I just sometimes, I, are people really that stupid? Like, I don't like calling people stupid, all right? I hate calling people stupid, but you know what? That guy's fucking stupid, all right? If the video literally says spoiler review, then I got nothing for you. I got nothing for you, all right? And I don't have time for your dumb ass, all right? Jesus, it's e don't watch the video. That's all you got to do. Don't click on something that says spoiler review. Wow. I, you know what? Before I did YouTube, I, I, I gave people the benefit of the doubt. And I thought there's no way somebody that people are that dumb on this planet. But it turns out they do exist. All right. So next one, this one's called, I, I, I said sounds, but I didn't see the rest of it. Okay. Um, this one's a vinyl one. Um, it says, um, right, you know, the vinyl community, they do get a little bit uptight if you use the wrong terminology. And I don't happen to be in that space. I'm more in the horror space, but sometimes we have hobbies outside of our own normal space. I happen to love vinyl. All right. But sometimes, you know, I'll get the terminology mixed up. So he says, I'm sorry to say that is a vinyl player in name only. Vinyl lovers must be pulling their hair out. 
which that shot like why would you pull your hair out over that and i said that's funny because when i put the record on i put the needle on it sounds come out and that's all i'm looking for right that's all i'm looking for uh as long as those sounds come out of that record i don't give a shit what i call it okay so that's why i could never be accepted into the actual vinyl community you know because sometimes i'll slip up and i'll call it a vinyl player it happens all right i'm wrong but it happens most of the time i call it a record player. i'm learning guys okay i'm learning all right um next one next one uh this is see lee just making stuff up that nev and melissa have been in the same room talking crazy you're literally just making this scenario up and i asked him what's his favorite happy meal toy because um i'm not gonna go into a video just making shit up although some youtubers do do that and maybe he got me mixed up with somebody else that does but when i do like news updates i go off of information that i've gathered if it's a rumor i say it's a rumor you know if it's speculation on my part like i i and i remember this video i said i had heard that nev campbell and melissa barrera got in a room i didn't say for a fact that they got in a room i said there's been rumors going around that they actually got into a room and uh you know but nobody knows for sure and maybe you guys know more than i do about that but i'm always really careful about how i present any like horror updates right i don't just i just don't like make shit up okay so yeah uh next one this one's called lee mcgay <laughs> this guy sucks unsubscribed and i said this has to be from the future uh because uh, uh it's my profile picture and uh they just changed the name to lee mcgay <laughs> and uh that's a john connor um troll comment that's what that is okay maybe it is me from the future maybe i changed my name to lee mcgay right i don't know could happen okay uh next one next one <laughs> i do have a few um troll clone accounts out there i've seen you know and they'll pop up in like other people's videos but they're not smart because you you can usually tell if it's me or if it's not you know they, their true colors come out rather quickly so yeah uh next one uh this take sucks man you want um you want real then watch the dark knight bro a guy who isn't a fan of the ant-man movies isn't a fan of the new one what a surprise, bro. Laugh my ass off. Um, by the way, if you start any comment with LOL or, or N L M A O, um, I usually don't take you seriously. Um, but, um, and I said, are you mad because I didn't like it? Am I wrong because I didn't like it? Are you a genius because you like this movie that you haven't seen yet? Yeah. He hadn't seen the movie yet, but by the way, guys, just trying to figure you out. Um, I, I can't even decipher that, you know? And out of all the movies to go to war for, the third Ant-Man movie, like, I, I could get it if it was like, you know, maybe one of the Avengers movies or something like that, and you want to die on that hill. But you're wanting to die on the Ant-Man 3 hill, you know? that You just wasted your hill, right? All right. Uh, next one, next one. Um... For God's sakes, it's a movie. Nothing is, guys, we always see these comments. Just turn your brain off. And, and yeah, there, I got no problem with turning my brain off and enjoying a movie, okay? But as a reviewer, you don't want to just say it's, you, you actually want to try to talk about the things that you liked, the things that you didn't like. But some people, they take the things you didn't like to heart. So he says, for God's sakes, it's, it's a movie. Nothing is going to compare to the original. Go to the movies and have some fun. Eat some popcorn and enjoy it. Yes, everyone is entitled to an opinion, but don't go picking apart every single thing wrong with it. And so I said, okay, for any future reviews, I'll just say it was fine or it sucked. Because that's, that's basically what you're wanting me to do. You're wanting me to cherry pick the things that I like and dislike about the movie. And that's just not how I work. You know, I got to be fair with those two aspects. If I'm going to tell you five things that I dislike about the movie, I'm going to try to tell you everything that I dislike about the movie too. And vice versa. You know, I, I don't, I don't cherry pick likes and dislikes. And plus I think it's helpful to the viewer 
to know some things up front. You know, uh, this is something I didn't like about this movie. And, uh, you know, maybe it's something you might uh, look out for. It might be something you don't like too. you know. And this is something that I thought was really awesome uh, about how the movie presented this certain thing. And um, I think you guys are going to get a kick out of it when you see that, right? I can't take your unfocused rambling and uh, inability to do any research. Aaron Norris was the stunt coordinator anymore. Unsubscribe. Um, you know, and you you like who you like. Um, I don't become an expert for every movie that I review. I just don't have time. Um, I'm, I'm an expert in some movies, you know, that I grew up with. But if I don't get the stunt coordinator's name right... I'm going to be fine. I'm, you know, I can, I can go about my day. It's not the biggest thing. These are called, um, actually comments. We get them all the time. And, uh, some people, uh, especially when you're reviewing a movie that's near and dear to their heart, they want you to present every factual item, um, you know, down to the letter and don't dare mess up anything. You know, I got this recently too, with, uh, Dune part two, Jesus, the fucking Dune fans come out and they, they get so damn mad if you like mispronounce, uh, if you call it Freeman instead of Fremen. Oh my God, you're an asshole. You're an idiot. You know, people take movies way too seriously sometimes. I do too. I do too. Okay. We're all kind of weird like that, I guess. So, so I put, you're my number one fan. Apparently you constantly post negative shit on my videos. Yeah. And this guy just, you know, sometimes when you're going through your comments and there's a name that'll pop up like that freaking idiot. And he, like, if you really dislike my videos this much, why do you constantly comment? Like, I, I swear, like freaking 20 videos, this, this, they come and go, right? Like, I haven't seen this guy in a long time, but you know, there was a good run of like freaking 20 videos. Like he was just wanting to bash me and bash me and bash me. And so is there a GoFundMe to get you laid? I'd like to donate, you know, because I guarantee you this guy has not been laid in a long time, you know, because if he did, he'd relax, he'd relax, but so, you know, he's an incel, right? And, and that's what they do. That's their life. Their life is every goddamn detail of a movie, right? Uh, next, God, I'm sounding ornery. Jesus, sorry, guys. All right, next one. Uh, this dude does everything except watch the movie, laugh, laugh, laugh out loud. He makes a video, grills a burger, mows the lawn, <laughs> gives the dog a bath. <laughs> this, was, this was on uh, one of my D-Watch videos. And um, if you've never seen one of my D-Watch videos, it's it's definitely something different, okay? Because it's me talking about the movie, but then I'll do I'll give the dog a bath or I'll freaking go grill a bird. I, you know, it's it's almost like a day in the life while I'm watching a movie. That's what a D-Watch is, and people tend to like them. So he was actually being cool and funny about it, and I I put it's the only way to properly review a movie for me. This was man, this is an old one. Okay, this is probably like eight, nine years old, this comment. I dug it up. All right, it says, you look nice in this skin color. Why you turn yourself into dark skin? That don't look like you. <laughs> um, I, I have no idea how to answer that. Um, sometimes, you know, sometimes maybe I'll look a little... Maybe it's like um, after I review something, I adjust, you know, I color grade... And maybe sometimes my lighting could be a little bit too dark and a little bit, I don't know. So my skin tone's not going to always be the same in every video, but, uh, that's just a, a weird, weird comment. Okay. It's just a really weird comment. I didn't even respond because I don't, I still to this day don't know how to respond to that. All right. Um, but apparently he likes me with a, um, a, a lighter skin color. So <laughs> really weird, really weird. All right. Uh, next one. Uh, what makes you think people want to look at you for 15 minutes? Get real. You narcissistic. Nobody. <laughs> Those are my, that's my favorite. When you just straight out attack me, you know, that that's awesome. Those are my favorite types of troll comments. And I blow them a kiss, you know, I, cause that's just great. Th like this makes me happy. Like if I get this stuff, then this is just the best, you know? I'm a narcissistic nobody. <laughs> what makes you think I want to listen to you for 15 minutes? By the way, I've had people listen. They'll, they'll click on the video. They'll watch the entire video. And then they'll make a comment referencing something at the end of the video. And they're like, they, they wish they didn't watch it. Um, so <laughs> like if, if you, 
if you hate watching me ramble for 15 minutes, then wouldn't you turn it off after like maybe two minutes? You know, I don't know. Kind of weird. But uh, yeah, some people, they just go for the throat. You know, they go for the, the, um, the, the jugular. And um, by the way, I posted this one on my Facebook and I said, uh, almost landed a beautiful Derek today. You know, that was the best thing I could, I could say, you know, almost landed a beautiful Derek. Cause that's a great, isn't that a great profile name? Beautiful Derek. I love that. I love that. Okay. Um, <laughs> agent Lee, you still look, Oh, look good. Thank you, agent. I appreciate that. <laughs> I thought you said, Lee, you still good. And I'm like, after these comments, I might need a, uh, some therapy. Um, here you go. Um, you are a brown nosing tool to the of the left. This is a terrible movie, and I put I love Tool. Um, this is from I got a few of these from this Civil War movie. I but as soon as I saw Civil War, hell, even before I saw Civil War, I was like, oh boy, here come the I can't wait. I can't wait to uh, look at the troll comments. Okay, um, I, because I liked the movie. The movie that literally takes the middle drives. I mean, it, it drives right down the middle. It's a road trip movie, funny enough, but it literally drives right down the, the middle politically. You know, I think it, I think it does it quite well actually too. And, uh, but I knew it, I knew it. Some would find a way to get offended by the movie, but I honestly didn't know people would go this far that would take it that personally because, uh, there's there's a lot more movies that lean one way or the other far more than this movie uh, really i don't think this movie does at all you know i was like looking for something to to maybe lean one way but it, it doesn't it doesn't so but you know sometimes they go for the jugular and they call me a brown nosing tool to the of the left which by the way guys i've said this before i'm not a political person you know i don't consider myself right or left it's not a cop out. I've always been that way. I just, you know, I, I love horror. I love horror movies. Um, you know, I love people in general. I love people from all different walks of life. I, I love people from the right and I love people from the left. I wish they could just get along. Um, and maybe, maybe my military background help. And this is ironic because a lot of people, th um, think the military is straight up on the right. It's, that's not really the case, you know? Um, it's probably a good, I'd say that there's more people on the right than the left. But um, being in the military, I ran into so many different religions and different political opinions. And you know what? I never, I never got into one argument in 24 years with anybody politically in the military. That's the cool thing about uh, the people in the military. And, by, and not just me, but I never witnessed two other people, you know, getting into a political argument. That's just something that you don't see in the military. And some of you might be in the military and you'd probably agree with me on this. Uh, I just never saw it. So, but you do get a lot of people that aren't from the military that really, you know, their life is politics and they take everything to heart and they take it so seriously. And um, it's, it's just interesting human behavior, you know, to me. I don't let, I don't let politics rule my life at all. So, yeah. Um, and uh, next one, this one's called Great Popcorn Movie. Th I got this one today. <laughs> I got this one today, so I figured I'd share it with you guys. Saying this, this is off of uh, Mask of Zorro. Mask of Zorro, okay? The Antonio Banderas movie. Saying this is a popcorn movie is just a plain simpleton. It's applying normie logic, which is the lowest common denominator. So he's already attacking me. The movie is Count of Monte Cristo. It's about duty, suffering, discipline, and sacrifice. It's about consuming yourself into fixation, or no, with fixation on existing revenge, but also about letting go of it and finding a higher purpose again. This is valid for both Alejandro and Diego as they both get subtle character arcs. And I said, yeah, it's also a great popcorn movie. <laughs> I think, guys, I think you can have popcorn. You can have your yin and your yang. You can have popcorn movies that have substance, right? You don't have to have, like, does every popcorn movie have to be just the, you know, uh, a super thin layer of, of um, entertainment? 
that can there be no depth in a popcorn movie right like are you serious hey carly how are you doing i saw trina in there too yeah um i think you can have your cake and eat it too with a popcorn movie hell i'll even say this right now i think aliens is a popcorn movie and it's one of the greatest action movies ever made okay because it does have substance but um you know if you if you're gonna um call me a plain simpleton and i liked the movie right you know i really liked the movie so we both agree that the movie's good and by the way guys those those um attributes that he's talking about i literally explained in the review i talked about diego and alejandro and how it was uh you know sort of like count of monte cristo so apparently i, I don't know if he didn't watch the review but uh yeah it's it happens it's weird people man just weird people and that's what that that's the rare occasion where you have a um a commenter agree with you 100 percent on a movie and still attack you that's pretty impressive if you ask me okay uh this is called children's parties children's parties okay um the screenplay is written from the view that uh, unironically advocates unquestionable author authoritarianism. He's a genius, prob uh, probably because you're an actual author. Uh, I can't even say it, so how could I be it? Um, authoritarian. And I said, are you available for children's parties? Um, what the fuck? Um, again, this was for Civil War. Like, Jesus, these people. Wow. Wow um okay yeah so guys by the way I'm, I'm a i'm an authoritarian okay there you go uh 